Hi, I'm Tom Sainsbury and I'm here with Dr Phil Surfit, one of the brains behind Bug Lab, which is an exhibition down at the Auckland Zoo. And we are currently in a bus stop that's down by Victoria Park. And this bus stop has been um, designed with a certain insect in mind. So there's a hidden mantis, an orchid mantis, which is an amazing creature, would you Absolutely, agree? Absolutely, yeah. What's one of the, what, what makes the orchid mantis so intriguing, Phil? Well, it outshines a flower, putting it simply as possible. Yeah. Insects like bees and, and flies that visit flowers for pollen and nectar. We've got to remember that, that insects see the world a little differently than we do, mm -hmm. and they're seeing more in the UV part of the spectrum. Yeah. And flowers make use of that. How they look under UV light is quite different to how they look to us. Right. And pollinating insects effectively decode those floral signals as, a, as cues for pollen and nectar. And by being that little bit, shining that little bit more brightly, so to speak, the yeah. organ mantis is actually more attractive than a flower. So the bee comes along and it sees the mantis and it thinks it's a flower. Well, yeah, it's, it's seeing a cue for pollen yeah. and nectar, basically. It's expecting a reward and uh, you know, a, a nice lunch, but uh, it's the main course. Yes. And where do they, where do orchid mantises come from and kind of what size are they? Well, they vary a bit in size. Yeah. Yeah, males are quite smaller than females, and a, well, a, a decent sized female, I think, gets about that long. Yeah. The one we've got on the show is actually a nymph. She nice. hasn't, she hasn't fully grown. You can see, if you look where her wings would be, there are little wing buds. Things. Obviously, she's many times larger than the real thing. Yes. But uh, naturally, they occur in Southeast Asia, particularly in places like Malaysia. They're not all that common in the wild. Right. But there, there, there are people rearing them in captivity, and you, there is a, a, a trade in them. And do the females eat the males? In this case, I'm not sure, but it's quite common in, in, in mantis, absolutely. So, Phil, what do you love about the orchid mantis? Well, she's a beautiful looking animal for starters. But not only that, she's just got an awesome trick. And it was a nice bit of science to work out that there is literally more to this story than meets the eye.